evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully.
47. This is one of the Mumbai Challs. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. It might be worth looking into. I tried to go up there and spy on his things, but he was already there. This view find are working, I will miss the shot for sure. Is photographer or something? Oh well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator, known as the Kashmirian. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local chawl. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. I'll never get that scope adjusted with this horrible viewfinder. What I wouldn't give for a world-class sniper rifle right now. Good thinking, 47. Now, if we could only make Rangan appear in that window somehow. Karen Dahl, aka the Kashmirian, was born in the US, but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead? Maybe he's a traveling salesman or something. Those suitcases could just contain the product. I'm sure it's him. My cousin lives in New York, and he went to a show on Broadway. Got a picture of him. Oh, that
mixing those colors. I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. Seventy percent of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors. Got it? Fine. More hip, left, all right. All right. Do, the artistic community will be dead to me. What? What the bloody hell are you all doing down there? This is the final day of shooting, and you look like you're all on hey, Mr. Hussain, go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. We are spending millions of it's rupees me. every day. Ah, Just Mr. Hussain, you know, ready at last. Ready uh, did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full-time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego. Ah, beautiful. Magnificent use of colors and form. Kya baat hai? If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, right, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rangan. Hey, you okay? Hi. All right. Chalo, let's get this done with. I expect these to be the final brush strokes, Mr. Hussain. I'm a busy man, yeah. All right, you know, let's this see if the aim of our Kashmirian of friend is work. true. Hmm. Look, once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not. Overdo it, huh? you know? I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. That shot came from the Chawls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the Chawls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is. The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chul. It's facing the laundry area. I suggest we find out what he's up to, 47. Amazing how Rangan managed to put together another 
an epic, huh? I can't wait to see the results. It's a lot lighter than the first one he did. What was it called? Kings of the Sea? You know, he based that one on a true story. His experience is as tough as I know. gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shaw. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't Won't entirely help, over Sha. yet. Take a little walk over to that bridge. I promise it will all be over. The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. He hasn't left the office since he got here. Uh, could you leave me alone, please? The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry. Skyter and Paul Gray had started stammering. Wait, he didn't know she had taken over the business. No, I, I don't know think he so. kept talking. The guard also told him. Sure, that's why coming out. Oh, you think you want to wait like this and slip out? 
I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Watani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I work... Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the Mumbai laundry business. However, the foreman has taken refuge in his office, unwilling to meet with her at this time. You might be able to use this to your advantage, 47. Fifteen hours every day. Aha, but I... feeling the word of Also yeah, told him what happened to me. Previous foreman. What on earth? Do you mind checking that out? Ah, huh, tip top. That was strange. I'll give you that. If you say so. All right, so I need to understand a few things here. Nobody keeps track of time in any way. The old foreman didn't really care so much about time. It was all about getting things done. So I how did he track so. that? The guard I can't see any of his old... Files here. I don't know where I'm they might be. sure that's why he's not coming All out. right, so he's uh, how about the workload? Hey. Probably. Sadly, yes, we work day and night. Not alive, can he? Why always me? I don't know where the papers are. If I could just find them, it would make my life a lot easier. But the old woman hid them somewhere. If I knew why, I wouldn't have to look for them, would I? I just want to make sure I understand everything. I show up for the bridge meeting with Miss Shah, and I'm not prepared. Let's just say I don't want that to happen. All right, I'll speak to you later. Oh. Uh, I don't have time to deal with this right now. I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Watani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I work 15 hours. Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the... Every day. Aha, pata hai. Just relaying the words of Miss Shah. I think she's hoping this new guy will be the person. Great. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. Oh, hello. 
Don't just stand there. This isn't going to wash itself. This is my last break. Six, seven hours? Oh, Shane, work Six, faster. Six. I'm busy. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. Samja? So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Ah, the new foreman finally Don't graces us okay. with his presence. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shah out into the open. Anything could happen here. I see a lot of dead weight. Hmm. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well. The objective is, find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is, prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want, and then once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Foreman. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace, taking unnecessary breaks, drinking my water, wasting my money. You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Whoa. That is Vanya Shah taking oh, care of 47. I've got another Are you planning on outsourcing real? all your work to the Kashmirian from now on? The Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the maelstrom. 47, the Kashmirian is on the move again. He looks to be leaving his apartment, possibly the trawl itself. I suggest following him to see where this will end. Small salam, I guess.
You don't know me, but your boss will want to talk to me. By now, he should have found out about the unfortunate fates of Rangan, his Shah. I am the one responsible. Mad? No, no, no. On the contrary, I consider it a successful job interview. Just tell me where to go. Ah, yes, of course. I'll be there in no time. I need to shave. Why isn't the shop open yet? Rangan donated that TV to the people of the slums. And to hear that serpent Vanya Shah talking about how he does nothing for us. See what you have in your... Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Okay, you're good to go. So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. We'll see you. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. What's up? All good? Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. You've got some balls, man. Killing two of the city's most ruthless people as a job interview. <laughs> That's something else. Oi! All right, it's just okay. in here. If you Good want luck. to proceed, I need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. I really hope that you're clean, my friend. I don't want any trouble today. All good, brother. On your way now. Time to face the dragon, 47. The mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. I guess you know who I am by now. The Maelstrom. Indeed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. 
childhood friends, lifelong companions. And now you're here. I always see my contracts through to the end. <laughs> Admirable. Really, it is. I'm assuming Vanya put out the initial contract that drew you here. She never did like Darwin. Perhaps a power play while our plans are in hiatus? But why kill her then? Unless... Unless Darwood made a counteroffer. That would be the smart move. But then you heard the rumors about the return of the Maelstrom. And so you took a chance. You figured if Darwood was assassinated, I would put two and two together. Eventually, I would have to teach the Slum Queen a lesson. You took it upon yourself to help me before I asked. A show of skill. A move to get to the top. Is that right, boy? You can only kill so many mobsters before wanting bigger challenges. Darwood and Banya lost their way once they returned here to Mumbai. I blame myself for their failures. I should not have let them go back without me. They got lost in their egotistical pursuits. Darwood thinking he could use up my legend through his movies. Vanya assuming some mythological regency over the people of the slums. They forgot that which mattered the most. What was that? Legacy. In time, you become your actions. Vanya became cruel. Darwood became a hollow man. I wonder what we will become. What shape we will take in our final days, exposed and roar in the eyes of the universe. We can't stay unseen forever. Death comes for us all, my friend. That it does. You are now one of us. You can walk around freely in the crow's nest. We will need to talk again, but not now. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Yeah, he was literally about to shit himself when we brought him down here. Boss had insisted on blindfolding him. I think he must have thought we were going to kill him or something. According to 
the records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. 